with ceramics, I think there's so much that you can do with it that it's just really like stuck with me on something that I feel like I could do forever. Aberdeen's my home and I've always lived here. I think it's really like important that there's artists and people that are working professionally in art and design and creative practices in smaller towns and cities and places across Scotland and the UK. My name's AJ, I'm a potter and ceramicist living and working in Aberdeen. My love of clay started when I was at university. Um, I went there to study 3D design. Going into my third year, we did a trip to Denmark. It really sort of made things, made things real for me because we went there and we met loads of people that were doing ceramics as a career. Um, it was just really inspiring and I was like, you know, I could make this work. <laughs> I started making blobs in Denmark actually and it kind of like encouraged me when I got home to make more things like that. Just over time they kind of settled and got more consistent and then they kind of expanded again out into like mugs and plates and then I started making dinosaurs and bigger sculptural pieces and it's just so versatile I feel like I can do so much with it. A lot of the stuff that I made at university was very serious so now I really enjoy just like making it silly and making it fun. I think if it makes me smile then hopefully it'll make someone else smile and that's why I sort of keep making them. Throwdown was absolutely brilliant. I think it really forced me out of my comfort zone. It made me less scared to try new things when I got home. It was just one of the, the best experiences of my life. It's something I'm going to remember for a long time. It was quite nerve wracking at first. I was like, what are people going to think? I'm the first non-binary person on the show. I'm the only Scottish person. Am I going to do Aberdeen proud or am I going to disappoint people? And people were just like 100% so lovely. I would get messages from non-binary people who were like, oh, you've you know, given me more confidence to, to be myself and to be open with my family about who I am and things like that. And that really made me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. This is my sketchbook from The Throwdown, um, which has got all sorts of bits of paper in it because I ran out of room because I didn't think I'd get that far and I didn't think I'd need a very big sketchbook. I don't think I would have had half the designs that I got without Kelda helping me. We just, we work so well together and quite a lot of the time Kelda would sort of like spark an idea like with the, the Brigga Balgauni, I was really struggling with a monument from Aberdeen that I could make in clay and the otter, um, that was Kelda's idea as well. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Kelda May and I'm AJ's partner. This is Leo. He's our rescue dog. He is one. Oh, we got a bunch of scratches. Oh, he's a nice. He's a nice. <laughs> I was working in our spare room. Yeah, at home. Um, which was a so then we moved. I moved all my stuff in here. We met in university. We were in the same class. Yeah. I went to uni thinking I was going to do a degree in jewellery and then ended up doing ceramics. And then <laughs> after I graduated, I didn't have the room to do my ceramics, so I went back and did my jewellery. And then when I moved in here, I then finally had the room to do both my jewellery and ceramics. Yeah. Would you like to say, Erin? I'm nervous. You're nervous. <laughs> uh, so me and Kelda recently got engaged and uh, Kelda proposed to me. Um, just... I didn't manage to do it on one knee because I physically wouldn't have managed to get back up. <laughs> I turned around and she was sitting there with a ring box. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and yeah, I, did, I didn't think that they were serious at first. So, and I was like, oh, yeah. oh, 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 this is serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Hello. You've never seen me use this before, have you? It's not for eating. Yeah, I really enjoy working at the wheel. It's one of my favourite things. He's a good boy. Don't drink that. <laughs> Before I did um, a lot of hand building and sculpting, um, the wheel was like my main, my main focus. It's quite meditative. Right, should we head out for a walk with the boy? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go inside. Wanna go to the beach? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Thank you, good boy.
So we're just down at Aberdeen Beach just now and um, I, look, I mean we like coming here to have a walk and this is Leo's first time at the beach so we're hoping to be able to take him down here for walks every now and then. Growing up in Aberdeen was really nice actually. I think my parents um, took me and my sister out a lot to see things. There's beaches and parks and like there's the winter gardens and different coves and bays and nice people, you know. Growing up um, queer in Aberdeen, I didn't really know um, anything about queerness. Came out as gay when I was about 15 and then didn't really realise that I was non-binary until I was about 20. I changed my name just before I went down for the throwdown and it was actually so nice to go down there and have so many like new people just immediately like using my new name. It was really nice. I think I needed that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think it's really nice with shows like the throwdown that like younger kids can get into crafts like that and sort of be more aware that there are things like that that yeah. they can try. We've had kids giving you pieces of art that they've made yeah, and like postcards and it's I love that something that I've done or made has inspired like a kid to go away and make something of their own. So tomorrow we're going to my old high school um, <laughs> to teach a blob making monster workshop. It's gonna yeah, I'm very excited. My name's AJ and uh, I'm a potter in Aberdeen and we're just gonna have some fun today basically and make some blobs, make some monsters. I think in the art world, it's just as important to try things that you don't like as you do like because then you know kind of what pathways you want to go down. So yeah, giving them the opportunity to just try everything when they're younger is just really, really great. I, w I wish I had it more as a kid. How's it going? Ooh, I've got some sketches down. I'm gonna give you a demo on pinch pots. I'm having fun right now. I haven't really done much pottery before, so this is very new, very new. Trying out new ideas. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, it's quite fun. I'm learning like kind of some new skills and that's what I really enjoy about it. A lot of people focus on like the bigger cities, so it's nice to have someone from Aberdeen that's getting recognised for their talent. Aberdeen's a really small place, so it's a bit, it's a little bit nice to be recognised. It's been great today, actually. All the kids have drawn like completely different things and made things that I would have never thought of. Yeah, it's just been like such a fun day. I really enjoyed it. So many people graduate here in ceramics and then are forced to move to somewhere like to Edinburgh or to London or to Glasgow so that they can actually continue their practice because they don't have a spare like two grand in their pocket to buy a kiln or buy a wheel or like do anything with their work. So me and a few people have formed Aberdeen Ceramic Studio so that people who are interested in clay and are graduating every year and then having nowhere to go and nowhere to fire their work. Have somewhere to go and have somewhere to meet like-minded people. In the future, I'd just love to be able to like continue what I do and continue to be able to experiment. You know, not everybody gets to do what they love, but also kind of experiment and try new things and have people stay interested at the same time. It doesn't feel like a full-time job, even though I'm probably working more hours than I would doing a nine to five, it's much more enjoyable for me and a, a lifestyle that I really enjoy.